Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. Are you feeling kind of peachy today? <laughs> We're gonna work on some peaches on a vine. Um, I go over the step-by-step. -step. I show you how I draw the peaches. If you're a Patreon member, you can download the traceable that goes with this. Um, if you don't know what a Patreon is, you just check out this link up here. And it's a place where people can go and support my channel and uh, get traceables that go with YouTube tutorials, exclusive tutorials on Thursdays and um, ad-free videos. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section and please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up. So without further ado, let's get peachy. Okay, to begin with, I'll go over supplies. I have a piece of six by nine inch arch, 100% cotton cold pressed paper, my Grumbarker number 10 brush, pa paper towels, water jars, my paints, I'll have them in the description box. I'll be working with, you know, those peachy colors. So I'll have a cadmium yellow deep. I'm gonna actually add some brilliant orange and I'll make a green out of like some of the colors that I have here uh, like the peacock blue and the yellow um just you know if you don't know what a peach looks like you just download the internet um, I have a traceable over uh, of, on the patreon page but I'm just going to show you how I draw peaches basically you know think of the round shape right and you have like a little line goes in here and then a little round shape here and it kind of has like a little little almost kind of a little butt but it goes like that and then you can just do it the other way a little butt like a little cheek a little cheek and then you just make the little leaves like this you know I have another one kind of peeking under here if you wanted to they're really simple to draw a little stem you can have an attachment with the stem here put another leaves and then they have sometimes they have the, the little blooms the blossoms just like those little flowers with little stamens inside basically when I show you how to paint them you can figure it out so you just have the leaves with the little veins in them but that's how you draw a peach so again it's just a circle but then kind of indent it a little bit see and bring it down and you could have like a little bump here, but you don't have to. And then you have a little stem, and you have your leaves. And there's your peach. Cute as a peach. <laughs> so obviously I'm gonna make some peach color, uh, blushy kind of tones, but I wanna like bleed in some pretty yellows and oranges. So first I'm gonna mix some of the peach tone. So I have my magenta here. A lot of it. I can mix up a lot. Grab some of that cadmium yellow deep. See, like a nice blushy, orangey, peachy coral color. I'm gonna water down my uh, my yellow, and I'm gonna water down my brilliant orange because I'm gonna wash them in the color. So I've got that nice, pretty, peachy kind of color. You can always test it out on the scrap. On the scrap here. Where is it? Oh, I have a scrap. <laughs> I'll find it someday. We can always test it on paper towel too. See if the cow looks good. It looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and start putting in our color. So I'm going to clean up my brush and I've sketched up my uh, design here. I'm going to water this section where the peach is. Right? We went to the peaches first and the greens second because the greens can go on top of the light peach. Okay, and then we're just gonna take this color and we're just, just gonna wash it in here. Right? At the same time, we're gonna take some of this yellow and orange. We're gonna wash that in here. So just put some of that in here. Grab some more of this orange. I'm gonna mix it in here. It's very wet, so I'm gonna kind of move it around like this. I do want a little more orange in this, a little too pink here. So I'm gonna tap a little bit of orange in here. Play around. Grab a little orange. This is a peachy tones. I might want to take my brush because you want to be able to see the sweet cheek part, you know, 
you can lift this part up with your brush and then go back in and add I can make this color here this darker tone so you can see the difference between the two I know it's kind of messy right now so I'll lift that up again we lost the sweet cheek part <laughs> but we'll fix that I could also just go in and take paper towel and just lift it up there we go and we just go paint right back in here again grab some of that orange it's a pretty cheeky color there got that nice part lighter. This part should be like where the line is in between. A little bit lighter. It happens wet on wet. It gets a little messy sometimes. I'm just going to lift that up. Kind of lift around the paint here and I'm going to bleed in some of this yellow again. We'll tweak that one in a bit. It's always the first one gets kind of messy. So now I think I'll try wet on dry and that might be have better control. So again we have this peach color here. And I will clean up my brush. I just did that and grab some water and just go over here. Just like that. So it bleeds a little bit. Just that cheeky section. We'll wait till this one with this one dries before we go over here. I like it just like that right now, isn't it pretty? And then we'll add a little bit of yellow. A little orange and yellow. Because they're not just like one color, they're a little yellowy, got a little orange. I printed out um, just a image of a peach seed that can be yellow and then get a little darker here on the cheek cheek. So we'll make a little darker over there. You get a little darker down here. So you can grab some magenta, a little yellow. get even a little bit darker here and down here still wet so you can kind of bleed that color in looking kind of cute right a little peachy keen <laughs> you're just playing around with these these like yellow oranges and pinks see I'm gonna kind of wash in some of that color here Now, once that dries, you can come play up. See, this guy decided to be mean instead of bleed a little bit. Let me go back in here and add this darker color just so you can see the difference of the cheeks, the sweet cheeks. And take a little orange too. It can be brighter or lighter. So, so you can see the difference of the cheeks. So I really like what's going on here and I'm trying to duplicate that up here. You can start off with yellows if you wanted to, right? Yellow here. Remember not to do the both at the same time like I tried to in the beginning and it just kind of blend too much. And then you could add in the pinks. See, just kind of tapping that in and it bleeds nicely and I can add some orange. So yeah, I think that with <clears throat> the yellow first and then you can just tap in the two pinks or the orange and you get that perfect peach tone. Add a little more pink. Magenta down here. See, this is still damp over here. Don't want to play around too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's what we're going to do. You can make it a little bit brighter if you wanted to, and yellow up here. Because it's going to dry lighter, don't forget. And add a little more orange. 
and play around with a little more magenta. And you get that beautiful kind of color tones of the peaches. See? So now I'm going to let this section dry, this section dry, and then come back to it with the leaves. All right, it's dry. You know what's funny? I, um, when we made this mistake here and lifted up the paint, I kind of really like that bleed. It has that nice natural kind of tone to it. It's a kind of a mistake, but I love it. So now we can go back in on this side with our paint. I'll take that magenta, the yellow, a little bit darker. Again, you can do the yellow first. I'm gonna, and play around with it. I'm doing both yellow and magenta. See, I'm going to go grab my yellow. I did both ways, right? So here I just did that dark tone, then I grabbed the yellow and I'm going in here and now I'm touching that and it has a nice bleed to it. Really? See? Kind of like that. Peachy keen. <laughs> While I still have this color, I'm noticing I want to put some more of this here. So I'll add a little more magenta peach color here. Kind of got too light down here. And I'll go back in. And I'll clean up my brush and I'll get some water and I'll just kind of blend it. See, I'll clean up my brush again, get it clear, and just blend it back in here. There's a couple ways you can play around with that. Clean up my brush. Go back in and add a little more yellow. Just be careful of the edge so you want that bleed. You're just going to keep layering until you get the colors that you want. Same thing over here. So we'll go back in. I'm going to just take the yellow. Go in first, like we did before. And then do the wet on wet. And add the colors. I'm going around my leaves here. And I'll take my magenta. A little bit of orange. Got this nice bright color. Have it really bleed all the way there. Grab some orange. See, this got maybe a little bit darker than I wanted, but that's okay. It's going to try light. See? And you have your peach. So I think they look pretty good. I might add a little more dark tones in here, play around with it. Like I showed you here, you can just bleed that back in. Just grabbing some more orange and some yellow. Just to brighten it up a little bit more. It's up to you, up to you guys how you want to do that. And from here, I'm going to go back in here. You can say constantly playing around with m moving the paint around. Look at the paper towel, huh? Pretty pinks. And there you go. Peachy keen. Add some yellow, take some back yellow. So this is super wet. We're going to have to let this dry before you start to go in and play with the leaves because otherwise it's going to be a mess. You could do some leaves up here. So we'll mix up our green color. So I have Peacock Blue, which I love. Come up my brush, and I'll grab Kevin Yellow Deep, and make this beautiful green. Now this one's not touching this, so you can kind of do the leaves out here. And you're just basically taking this brush, and you're pushing down and pulling up to make the leaves. And connect it over here again. 
Did you see that? I don't know if you saw that. It's kind of wet, but that's all right. So you're taking the tip, pushing down. Well, this one's bigger, so we're gonna have to kind of do a swoop around one. Swoop and swoop, there. Now you can kind of leave it in this color tone. You can add some, like I have a Prussian blue over here. It's gonna change it a little bit. Prussian blue, cabin yellow deep. Make a nice darker green. Just kind of bleed in some dark green right in the, the ends here. I always like to do that. This is fairly dry. We can play with the leaves down below. To make this bright. Mix up a good amount. <clears throat> Otherwise, you're stuck constantly mixing like me. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm losing my voice. Just making simple leaves. Right down here under the peaches. Now I'm starting off light, and I can add some darker tones to them. That's what I'm going to be doing. Whoop. Getting a darker color. So you just have that darker green close by. Kind of bleed it into the lighter green. Just like I'm doing here. Get even a little bit dark. I might add just a little bit of Prussian blue right under here, just to tap it right in there. A little shadow. I also like the look where you're not really bleeding the green in. You can just have this flat color, and then you just put the nice um, dark color right on top. And I'll show you what I mean. So here's the green mixed up again. This is fairly dry now. So I've got this light green color here. This is dry. You can test it. And I'll go back in and I'll add the darker green once that's dry. You can also have a variety of greens with the leaves too. Because you want, you know, it doesn't have to be realistic. You can make this really kind of how you want it to look, adding just dark green, just mixing up some greens and adding in some burnt umber, just to make the greens a little bit different. Just testing, making sure it's not gonna bleed. So now I have a darker green right in here, going right over the peach. I guess it did bleed here. <laughs> I thought I tested it well, but I guess it didn't test that part. That's okay. You win some, you lose some. And I'll put another dark leaf here. You're going to be able to play around with the leaves. Kind of having them meeting towards the stem. And I have a light one underneath. So I had a little bleed right here. No big deal. You can try and clean it up. Just by cleaning off your brush and just kind of lifting up that paint. And you can go back in and add some more peach dark colors and that will change it. I have a couple of little flower blooms here. I'm just going to take this pretty peachy color, pinky color that I had here, that little magenta, water it down, and I'm just going to make this little pretty pink blossom flowers. See, just like a little kind of wiggly circle. Nothing special. Like a little half one here. And when that dries, we'll add little stamens inside. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, just grab some burnt umber if you have, or make a brown. Gonna add magenta, a little yellow, a little Prussian blue. Get this dark brown for the stem. That's going in between all this fun stuff out here. See, just kind of go in there and add that into the stem too. You see that this white space kind of happening in here. Um, I mean, I don't have it in my traceable or my sketch, but I paint intuitively. So I noticed as I painted this, I'm like, mm, I might want to add some more. Oh, I have another leaf under here, but I might want to add more foliage mm -hmm. as I'm going. 
there's a leaf that's underneath these. Of course, I'm going to make it darker. I'm going to add some the dark green. Just make that a little bit darker. So I might add another leaf behind here just to fill in that white space. If you don't mind that white space, you just keep it. So this is fairly dry. I mean, I talked about the dark green over the light green. So I'll make up another dark green here. So, you know, we have the veins, but you can also just make like a nice swooping wash of color like that. So here, see, I'm just gonna put the wash of color like that. Again, down here. So you could do it a couple of ways. I'll keep adding some dark green with the blue. One of these ones a little bit darker. Variety is the spice of life. All right, so I got that simple. And then you can just go in and put some veins on some of the leaves if you wanted to. You don't have to. It's a nice touch just to add a few. I'm going to go back in here and put this dark leaf in here. Now that that's drying. Just play around with the leaves. See, adding just a few veins here. You're going to have to have playing around with the wet on wet and keep adding. So I'm going to take my Princeton number four. So I'm getting my four brush. I'm going to grab just a little bit of lizard and crimson I have over here. Just make a nice deep darker red. I'm just going to go into the little bloom here and make these little stamens. Just like that. Little lines and little dots on them. Just the simple blooms. Nothing special. And then you can go back in and like tweak your little peaches if you want. Like I feel like this is a little light in here. I'm gonna grab. See there's a little white in here next to the leaf. I might make this a little bit darker again. You can go over it many times. And then I'll clean up my brush so I can bleed it and blend it. See? That's how you do that. So again, take the darker color, which I have here, put that right down here. And I'll clean up my brush. And I'll go in here and I'll just kind of wiggle the water. And that's how you blend that. Again, over here, I'm gonna need that again because it's under, the leaves it should be darker. Gonna add a little more orange. And I'll clean up my brush again. I'll kind of just push this paint around. Over in here too. And that's how you you keep doing that. Go in here. Same thing. And under here. Because it wouldn't make sense to be that light under where the leaves are. We have a little bit of shadow. And there. Peachy keen. <laughs> Obviously in the dark leaves you might have to get even darker still to get those veins. You know, play around with it guys. Have fun. Don't get worried about it looks perfect or not. I mean, mine is definitely not perfect. Just showing you how I would do it. And I would play around with it too. Go back in with the brown. Fix that stem. See, it does dry light. So you might have to go back in and put another layer in there. And a little stem there. And there you go. Peachy keen. <laughs> 
I hope you guys like this tutorial. I mean, I don't know if you want to even paint peaches, but I just kind of paint things that I think I enjoy. Maybe people might enjoy. And it's bright and light and fun. And I was working on a lot of peach um, stuff this week from my one of my clients. So I figured, oh, let's paint some peaches. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, don't forget, if you're a Patreon, you can get the traceable. I basically, you know, look online, look at the peaches. You saw how I drew them and just kind of play around, you know, drawing the leaves and painting them in and how you bleed the uh, colors. So there you go. I hope you guys have a great Saturday and I will speak to you soon.